That's a good number, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar on cycling. I take this opportunity to welcome our today's resource person, Charan C. Sadashivan. Welcome you, sir. Hello, good afternoon. I also Thank take you, this Ajit. opportunity to welcome our beloved principal, Dr. Ananda Mamman. Welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. And I also welcome the HODs of Commerce Department and the HOD of uh, Science Department. Welcome you. I also welcome all the faculty members for being a part of this uh, webinar. Welcome you. And I also welcome all the students for being a part of this webinar. And the people who got registered uh, through the Google form, uh, welcome you all for this uh, wonderful session. I take this opportunity to uh, read the profile of today's uh, guest. Charan CS works as an assistant editor at Bangalore Center of Times of India. His media experience spans two decades of which 17 years are in Times alone. Prior to this, he worked as a production engineer for six years. He has a degree in industrial and production engineer from JNNCE in Shumagga. Being a bilingual writer, he has a written multiple articles for English and Kannada publications. Charan is also a short story writer in Kannada, having published this uh, story collection on T. Clark in 2015. Charan is looking forward to the release of his next book, which is with publishers. Charan has a record in Limka book for organizing a mega alumni meet in August 2018. We welcome you, sir. Uh, please take over this session. Thanks, Ajit. And uh, over to you, thanks, sir. Thanks, Nagarjuna College. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, I thank this Nagarjuna College principal teachers and welcome to all the students also. Hi, as Ajit said, I'm Charan, a media person and also a cyclist. Here, I would like to start the day with what happens when lifestyle cycling takes over a person. So I will start with today's news. If you people can see, the price of petrol today in Karnataka touched rupees 100 per liter. So this is a very important day that way. It's going to be a life game, game changer, 100 rupees per petrol. I just would like to start the session saying that the last time I went to petrol bunk was when the petrol was costing rupees 43 per liter. So that is what I would like to say how lifestyle cycling has helped me. So in these 13 years of uh, uh, journey, I will start with what exactly inspired me, who exactly inspired me to get cycle into my lifestyle. And also, I'll explain later in the second half, what and all it has taught me, what and all it showed me, all that. To start with, I will uh, explain how the journey started. Some 13 years back, uh, I wanted to drop my kid to school. So I thought, okay, let me try dropping her to school. That is some two kilometers away. But not after four months, I could not continue that. So uh, later I thought, okay, let me start to office. Office was something like 10 kilometers away from my home. My home is in Rajinagar and uh, uh, office is in MG Road, Times of India office. So I thought I should try. The thing is, I never thought, I, I thought 10 kilometers at that time, I had no guidance also. I thought it will take at least one, one and a half hour for me to reach 10 kilometers. But surprisingly, I reached there in a half an hour, 35 minutes with two breaks. Then I thought, okay, what I thought was, I thought of taking the cycle once in a week, weekend, when there is no traffic, 
and then I tried twice in a week, and then I tried thrice. That is alternate days. And when it was working fine for me, I thought I should take it daily. So from Gandhi Jayanti of 2007 till today, uh, I mean till the lockdown happened, I was riding to office rain or shine. That way, it really works well. And after two years, that is ten years back, uh, I thought uh, I should connect with cyclists who are also doing, you know, lifestyle like what I was doing. So Bangalore is that way really blessed. A lot of lifestyle cyclists are there, and as I saw them from close, uh, they are doing amazing things like riding to uh, work and then riding within. Uh, 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 their area, and then I, as uh, internet penetrated, we get to see blogs and all. Later, I got to know that they are also riding to different uh, long distances. That is, the airport. Airport was just started then in Devanagari, so people were riding to airport and coming back and sharing their stories through blogs, and that really inspired me. And some people also went ahead and then reached Nandi. Hills also. That was something really challenging. What we people were doing within the community started taking challenges, accepting challenges, and went meeting all those challenges one by one. So there were people who went to Mysore also. Then it was unheard of then, riding 150 kilometers in a stretch, and uh, we realized that was a beautiful challenge. And we in the community we started. Uh, Sharing the ideas, tips, what to be done, what should not be done, all that. So, what we thought lifestyle cycling will help us in reaching the destination uh, took us places also, places like uh, Devanagari Airport or uh, this uh, Nandi Hills or Mysore, something like this. Whatever was there within our one uh, fifty kilometer radius, uh, some thirteen years back, not much. Uh, Uh, long distance tours were happening that way, but definitely uh, that was picking up. Uh, our community members, you know, started discussing all this. So that way, I still remember how many people were hooked to this uh, working to, I mean, cycling to workplace. <clears throat> one person I remember, one Pradeep, had told me very clearly that whatever is there in Bangalore, the point A to point B. Average distance traveled by any commuter, I mean any person, will not cross ten kilometers. So it can be any place. So ten kilometers will be the average thing, and I think many people can try this. So I, that set me thinking, and then I started hunting who all are doing this uh, uh, cycling to work. So then I got into some groups, and then realized lot a lot many people are doing. And when I asked, they were very clear in saying that. Yes, Bangalore is really the terrain is more or less flat. Unlike in some places like uh, Nagarbavi or Mahalakshmi layout, some other places where uh, really uh, gradients are there. Uh, gradient means up to the ups and downs, but generally the terrain is flat. And also the weather, we really were I mean are blessed to have a weather like this, and no other city I think has such a conducive weather uh, for cycling as Bangalore has uh, is having it. And we thoroughly enjoy that, and canopy, tree, all that may not be there, but still the AC kind of weather is works for uh, cyclists definitely. So doing 10 to 15 kilometer was no big deal, and then we continued. And around uh, after two years of cycling to office, uh, I, unwittingly, that is unknowingly, I started riding wherever I wanted to go alone, no, uh, through cycle only. So the earlier resolution, uh, what I had taken uh, on Gandhi Jayanti of 2007 was, whatever distance I am traveling alone in 10 kilometer radius from my home will be cycle that way with family. It will be like with auto or uh, cab is now earlier cab or auto something like that was there. But cycle was always the preferred mode of transport. After five years, I realized 10 kilometers is nothing. Then I extended it to 15 kilometer radius, and then. There is no uh, upper limit now. So wherever I am going alone, it has become part of my lifestyle now. That is uh, riding long distances. As the community grew, say around two thousand eight, sorry, two thousand 
2015 around, uh, uh, the number of lifestyle cyclists increased. And then I started there watching them up close and then uh, they had become my friends. And I was seeing them uh, meeting their own challenges and then setting new benchmarks. That was something really that Bangalore really uh, uh, was blessed with. Even now, a challenge of bigger uh, uh, level is achieved. I'll come to that. Uh, but coming back to the writing part, as I got inspired uh, by these uh, lifestyle cyclists, I started writing about their achievements. And uh, to start with, uh, uh, one Times of India came out with a special edition. There, our editor suggested that I write an article about uh, how Bangalore is uh, uh, witnessing the, the cycling uh, resurgence, like like old timers. Then I wrote an article called "The Spirit of Sa Spirit on the Saddle," and then I came to know a lot of cyclists and cycling groups also. Uh, cycling groups. What I wrote then had some 250 members, and now the same group uh, has some four four and a half thousand members. There are multiple groups I was uh, writing about, and there are cycling veterans who are uh, continuously riding. And uh, coming back to articles writing, as I spoke to these uh, achievers, lifestyle cyclists, I understood one thing. The joy of cycling will really grow only as you keep meeting challenges. And then I thought, okay, I will also stretch my limits. Then I started writing to Mysore, and then uh, 2013, 2000, yeah, around that time, I realized a lot of cycling groups are organizing multi day tours. So, this is when I decided uh, I'll also be doing tours once in a year. So, coming back to the uh, urban commuting and cycle touring. So, I will start with uh, urban cyclists. So, here uh, it's been uh, 13 years, as I said, uh, so far I have covered uh, more than 1 lakh kilometers in cycling. In this, uh, around 93,000 plus has come from urban commuting. That is going to office, coming back, and uh, wherever I go, it's through cycle, I said. No? So meeting people also, it is through this. And uh, I really do not mind uh, because I do not attach any stigma to this particular thing. Because as long as it takes me to the destination, and within the stipulated time as I planned, that is fine. And generally speaking, uh, easily one person can cover 10 kilometers in half an hour. Easily even can cover. Uh, or if they're new, they can take 15 extra minutes. But within 45 minutes, one can easily commute. And as we get experience to ride on the roads and all, definitely we, even when traffic is there, one can maneuver and then uh, reach the destination in half an hour, 10 kilometers. All thing is we have to plan our day and also uh, where we are meeting so that the destination has some uh, places for refreshing ourselves, all that. Anyway, these are all basic things uh, I will come. Talk, I will talk about later. Coming back to this urban commuting, it's more than 93,000 and the rest uh, around uh, 7,000 plus uh, uh, comes from uh, cycle touring. Cycle touring itself is a very uh, beautiful thing and uh, nothing like it. One has to uh, go uh, to places, uh, through highways, through mountains, to the beaches. Basically, cyclists used to uh, prefer get lost in nature and then enjoy the, the serenic beauty and then come back after some 10, 12 days. So these are all the touring part. Touring part, uh, I will tackle. I mean, I will talk about that later. Coming back to urban commuting and uh, what terrain is uh, you are seeing is the uh, combined uh, 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 efforts of uh, all these community cyclists who are who I have spoken to and also who I have taken inspiration from. Basically, I do not uh, have all the articles because there will be multiple articles in Times of India and other Canada papers, but I'll take some samples from articles, uh, sample articles, and show how these guys have really uh, set a beautiful benchmark for all of this. And uh, readers at large or uh, new writers, they all ben benefited from these articles. I'll talk to these uh, 
talk about these uh, riders one by one. See, this is the uh, wheel of time. Uh, actually, this had written when uh, somewhat uh, 2012. That is when I completed five years of uh, uh, riding to office. I basically make it a point to uh, celebrate the anniversaries. Every Gandhi Jayanti, I make it a point, yes, I have completed one year. It is like to reassure myself that uh, I'm on the right track or uh, whatever I enjoyed. Uh, somewhere some people may get inspired on this thing, but anniversary I always celebrate. So this particular article uh, showed uh, what exactly I have enjoyed in those five years. A lot of changes had happened by the time I wrote this article from the time when I started. Like a lot of uh, there were there was no flyover only uh, somewhere and those flyovers had come in and a lot of uh, police uh, uh, were stopping you know for not uh, for, uh, for so many reasons for uh, riding on footpath or whatever but uh, I used to say footpath riding when there is nobody is okay otherwise if they have an issue I'll just walk on that uh, footpath I mean awareness was still. Uh, not come for the public. Even today, people really, you know, not encourage cyclists on the road because of their slow pace. They think these cyclists are a hindrance to their uh, smooth movement or faster movement. That is one. So, so this is one article uh, I had written uh, long back. Uh, this person who you are seeing was riding in a cycle and he was wearing all this. Later, uh, uh, somebody in the community shared that this person needs help. And then I wrote an article and which uh, spurred into action. There was some Tamil letters here. So one person who was in Tamil Nadu coordinated with that and then he tracked him down and then all the cyclists together, they uh, gifted him a, a cycle rickshaw basically to keep the uh, load there in front and he was riding. So this is one uh, uh, article and uh, here in this article I was showing how people in Dharwad side are enjoying their uh, rights. They are all basically techies or uh, businessmen or uh, teachers, something like that. So these people were riding uh, on weekends. Here, this what you are seeing is a different set of taluks of Dharwad district. So if a person rides this particular in this area, he used to get this medal. And this is another medal. Like this, there are four, five, six medals. And these people have to cover it on every weekend. And so that after covering every taluk, they were given uh, a, a stand, which they can hold it as a souvenir, uh, saying that they have covered the entire district. So this particular uh, uh, challenge, what these Darwin people were writing, I had written about that. And then uh, in 2018, there was a big challenge uh, in India. Uh, sorry, in Paris. So a lot of uh, cyclists were preparing for this. And in 2018, uh, it was never before. India uh, had a very big participation. Uh, I really do not remember. But from Bangalore, there were some 25 to 26 riders from Bangalore alone. This Paris uh, high endurance ride, what I'm saying is called uh, the PVP in the community. That is uh, Paris, Brest and Paris. So 1,200 kilometers they are to cover in uh, some hours. So 1,230 kilometers precisely. So in Bangalore, it was a big number, uh, 2018. So I written about that and how our guys were preparing for that. And uh, coming back to the uh, nature of cyclists, they're all like common men. They're not athletes per se. They're not paid for it or something. It is just that they pursue, they went on pursuing their own uh, uh, challenges and they en started enjoying that and after riding for 200 kilometers 300 kilometers these guys uh, were set for 1230 kilometer challenge in paris they're all self-supported with no government support or nobody uh, uh, nobody else it's just that their passion and they wanted to conquer that particular ppp challenge this is one uh, uh, lifestyle cycling going to a different higher level this I had written, and there is a uh, this techie who took a sabbatical from uh, like uh, work uh, 
for uh, six months and he went from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. Uh, here, uh, he had his own experiences. Imagine if you ride from Bangalore to Mysore, a lot of experiences we get to see. But this man has ridden from uh, Kanyakumari to Kashmir and uh, he shared his experiences and what exactly how people received him through organ donation. He's also a cyclist like us and then went ahead with uh, his passion, that is uh, social service kind of thing, that is uh, organ donation. A, a lot of uh, charity rides he has done. This is Manjunath. Uh, that way, he is one of those inspiring guys I had written about. And uh, this is an ultra cyclist from Bangalore. Uh, his name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bharat Pannu. And he's an ultra cyclist. So when I'm talking about lifestyle cycling, uh, there will be a one level up than this uh, lifestyle cycling. Lifestyle cycling is like uh, riding uh, maybe 10, 15 kilometers per day or on weekends some 300, 400 kilometers. But this person uh, is an ultra cyclist. Uh, he rides uh, around 350 to 400 kilometers daily for eight, uh, eight, uh, eight days in succession. That is, uh, they're like superhumans uh, stretching a different. A lot of uh, articles have written about him. This is a Guinness record uh, attempt by uh, Pannu, who had done that uh, in 35.5 hours. And on average, people take uh, eight days so because of the elevation in the Himalayas. This is one. And this is a beautiful story. This, I think, uh, uh, was uh, written for Valentine's Day in 2014. Uh, he is uh, uh, Shalin uh, He had decided to write to office, and he saved up some money. And then after uh, uh, some years, he had deposited that amount. He took it back and then gifted a diamond ring to his wife. So a lot of uh, beautiful stories are there when it comes to lifestyle cycling. And all I did in these 13 years of uh, writing is highlighting the efforts like uh, these people, how they pursued their passion and how they saved up their money and also uh, what it benefited uh, to society also. Indirectly, they're giving back to society by not polluting. That is, green footprints are always better. That way, a lot of cyclists have done these things. Uh, whatever I... Uh, return uh, the I should thank my successive editors in Times of India for encouraging me to uh, write about uh, these people and also it also helped me to get inspired. So here uh, I'm coming back to uh, another uh, level of cycling. This is uh, called breves. So what breves you are seeing here is nothing but long distance riding. Uh, I was telling you people. Uh, to start with uh, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers, 50 to airport, it can be 120 to uh, Nandis and back, uh, like that, or Mysore 150 plus 150 back, like that. So uh, uh, in 2000, uh, some years back, I, I do not exactly know, but there had been attempts by Bangaloreans to do very long distances in very least time. So these breves are nothing but uh, uh, long distance riding, which is amounting to minimum 200 kilometers in a stretch, uh, 300 kilometer, 400 kilometer, 600 kilometer, 1000 kilometer, and 1200 kilometer. They're all denominations to uh, show your uh, ability to ride long distances and also endure the uh, whatever you, it comes on the way. Like a uh, lot of challenges are there that uh, you people can Google. If you say breves, you will get to know on Google what exactly it is. But uh, why this article uh, prompted me to write is uh, not only the challenge, but there are some uh, writers from Bangalore who did uh, some 1,500 kilometers in uh, just five days. So, and there are some couples who went down to do these uh, uh, 200 kilometer uh, ride. That is to Bangalore to Chintamani and back. Uh, some couples had gone together, married couples, and they were uh, back together. So that way, this is a special article. I thought I should highlight uh, why it is important to uh, uh, ride long distances and how our people in Bangalore are stretching their limits. So this particular article highlighted uh, uh, lifestyle cycling going to a different notch. So Breve is something uh, really inspiring and uh, 
uh, very challenging after writing about these uh, people i thought uh, why should not i do also so that is one uh, extreme challenge i had undertaken in 2019 this article had happened in uh, 2018 end in 2019 uh, i had done this uh, brevis so these are all uh, uh, very special articles because we always know century means it's only in one particular sport but uh, these two friends who started riding to uh, enjoy breakfast they are in south bangalore usually they used to go some 20 30 km on saturday or sundays like basically to enjoy breakfast so uh, that was in long uh, uh, long back and later they went on uh, stretching their limits uh, why 20 30 km let us go for uh, 100 so i think they went to kunigal first and then they conquered that 100 and at that time it was a big uh, number in their group only they were celebrated for 100 and after within some years uh, they strava strava is a app where you can record your activities so very recently i think 2019 or something these people had completed 100 100 km ride that is they hit a century in 100 km ride so they started together Uh, with this 10 km 15 km 35 km one day this is 100 and it has become one regular thing for weekends and then very recently they completed 100 km also so my effort is just to say that uh, there are also family people they also have work and they also have you know uh, uh, i mean to strike a balance between family and work life in between they have done this this is what i wanted to highlight and Uh, this got a very good traction uh, among the community and this is again uh, lieutenant colonel bharat pannu so he has done some uh, in eight days he covered uh, kashmir to kanyakumari from the other direction so here he is celebrating with this crew that is uh, uh, at kanyakumari so imagine 3600 km in eight days that uh, comes to around uh, 375 or 400 km per day so how what and all endurance he may have uh, endured as uh, uh, overcome so he has uh, another uh, this thing uh, in, there's a big race called uh, race across america in Amer- uh, from the east coast to west coast in america one has to ride through the deserts and all that and uh, because uh, last year 2020 they, they had canceled the real uh, event they had a virtual race and he had ridden from pune where his crew was there so he achieved the third spot in the world and uh, this is his achievement uh, coming back to uh, this cycling in the pandemic so many articles have written in the last 13 years i said but it is maximum in 2020 uh, after the lockdown uh, ended that is somewhere in june 2020 uh, cyclists were all eager to ride outdoors and they really really stretched their limits and they came out with uh, wonderful achievements basically and they all uh, uh, this is also happened in june last year and so many people went on to set different benchmarks so i kept on highlighting such efforts through paper and also kept on uh, getting inspired also in the process this is one such actually and then uh, uh, this is another uh, community which is uh, really helping people to right you know we people have totally forgotten to ride after say high school or something because the moment we graduate to college uh, natural tendency is to ride a bike and after that we may have forgotten about the cycles but this community there are some uh, uh, three four uh, veterans and also they are supported with uh, uh, volunteers they particularly they wanted to teach or uh, bring those uh, people who want to ride back again no uh, back on them and there are many people who may not have uh, learned cycling when they are young a lot, lot of reasons are there and uh, in this article i try to tell who are the volunteers they basically assemble at kavan park and in the morning sunday morning when there is no vehicle allowed in that kavan park premises they bring their cycles and then they teach cycle how to balance all this this is one such uh, class going on uh this is a community which is doing very good service to the uh, uh, cycling world here they 
basically taught so many people about uh, how to balance a cycle and you no know, those who have learned from there have uh, gone places also that is what i know this article was written in uh, uh, two years back sorry and when we are talking about uh, uh, cycle to work no a lot of people uh, were doing and in this article i highlighted what are the uh, what companies are doing uh, like uh, by giving uh, a shower facility or refreshment thing uh, basically how uh, the voluntarily uh, the workers themselves are getting into this and from the other end uh, what the companies are doing all that so this is about uh, tandem cycling tandem cycle is nothing but uh, two people riding together uh, there will be two places uh, one is the captain who balances the cycle and there is a the stoker who sits in the back and then he also adds to the uh, pedaling and then they move together uh, this particular tandem cycling is uh, picking up in bangalore and uh, when it started uh, with some four five riders i had written about that and here uh, this is also helpful for people who are blind who cannot balance i mean who cannot see the road but here by sitting in the back uh, they can ride so this is one possibility i had written and uh, lot of people came to uh, uh, connected with these people and then they also uh, assembled at kabar park some 15 to 20 blind people uh, uh, enjoyed uh, cycling with these people that is after long uh, years long gap they also get to enjoy so this is one and here uh, i think in january 2018 this article i had written how uh, a small bunch of uh, riders you know they prefer cycle to go to sabri mala so this is pilgrims are pedal so this is rajesh naik he is an amazing rider and he is a long distance rider but uh, last time he, he preferred to ride uh, maximum so though he was an engineer though he is an engineer he in the morning he used to work as engineer and in the evenings he used to take cycle to get into Uh, service delivery food delivery so he joined zomato and then uh, from may 2019 to i think may uh, may 2020 for one in one year he had covered uh, 10000 kilometers by delivering only and nobody had complaint against him because he was always on the time i think this is the best example what we can say is in bangalore if one has to ride by planning uh, he can definitely meet his uh, destinations uh, within stipulated time and rajesh naik became uh, really a poster boy uh, by doing the 10000 kilometers just by delivering food uh, apart from working as an engineer uh, uh, riding to office and back so this particular story really inspired my uh, many people uh, last year and this bharat pan again he ridden uh, golden quarter lateral Uh, in uh, record time like uh, uh, 20 hours used to daily ride and uh, cover uh, some 500 kilometers per day so that is something unbelievable but uh, definitely a different benchmark he always sets so golden quadrilateral is nothing but riding through the highway uh, you start from delhi uh, reach kolkata chennai and then go to bombay and then bombay to delhi so this uh, four points he covered in record time so this is about his uh, record setting period uh, again this was done in uh, i think august uh, when uh, this uh, pandemic i mean unlock was happened last year and uh, this is uh, anil patsu uh, this article i wrote on uh, november uh, uh, second week and this man uh, is like the guru of uh, lifestyle cycling in bangalore anil patsu has been riding uh, from easily more than a decade uh, but his claim to fame was like this he completed 100 km ride by for 10 uh, for 100 days means every single day in november i am talking by november 9th he completed 100 100 km rides so starting from august uh, uh, second week i do not know it's there in that article but he really set a different benchmark for riding 100 km ride for 100 successive days and then it is really he is a, a fitness coach basically so he has made life full uh, cycle is part of his life 
is not part of his lifestyle. He has made cycle is part of his life itself. So every morning he used to get up at uh, say uh, four o'clock and uh, start his diet at five o'clock. Meet his uh, students that is uh, fitness enthusiasts, and then uh, every day from morning this twenty kilometer. It is the breakup is given in the article, but right from morning five o'clock uh, five thirty he starts and then meets uh, his uh, uh, clients. Uh, makes uh, gives fitness classes and by evening seven o'clock by riding through uh, South Bangalore and other places he comes back home completes hundred kilometer and everything is recorded in Strava. So imagine he completing hundred uh, kilometers daily. The dedication is what uh, uh, has to be uh, drawn from this particular thing. So after hundred days and he messages me there and I completed two hundred also. That was uh, somewhere in December end, and then uh, very recently, maybe some ten days back, uh, he completed hundred kilometers also. So whatever time the government, uh, I do not know how he achieved, but definitely he has completed three hundred uh, uh, hundred kilometer rides. It's very difficult to even think, but he has done, and very few people have done uh, uh, this many uh, hundreds in Bangalore. I mean back to back. Uh, for 300, I, in South India, easily Anil Katsu stands on top with uh, 300 back to back 100 kilometer rides. So, uh, in this uh, pandemic, a lot of people have started riding, and uh, because of less traffic roads, a lot many people have done these 100 kilometer rides during the weekends. But this Katsu stands on top of all them, and he has been an inspiration for many, many riders, including me. and. Uh, uh, the claim to fame is, uh, just for your info, the cycle what he is riding is called the flexi, the fixie. Fixie means uh, uh, the you cannot apply brakes or something. It is uh, The crank is fitted to the back wheel. So if you ride like this, it will go front. If you ride back, it will, come, uh, it will go reverse. Means if you want to apply brake also, you have to stop pedaling and then it will stop. So it's a very tricky bike. And uh, when I wrote this article in November, uh, Second week, he had completed uh, fifty thousand kilometers in this cycle itself. The overall uh, distance he has covered so far in his cycling career is some one lakh fifty thousand kilometers. That is really unbelievable. But this man has achieved uh, that much. That is one lakh fifty thousand kilometers in this fifty thousand on this fixed bike itself. So, Petsu is one epitome of. Uh, 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 Lifestyle cyclists, how one can really have it embedded in their life and then, uh, uh, you know, uh, have your way. Whatever you want to do, you can do, but still do it in the right green way. That is what he has taught many, many people here. Uh, this article happened in uh, uh, when the pandemic had struck and when there was no, uh, when there was lockdown and all that, there was no transport, public transport and cab and all was unheard of no because of cab and this man uh, uh, from kochi wanted to see his parents for some uh, work so i mean for some medical thing so he decided uh, he will go to kochi and then he is a long distance rider basically and in this article he explains how he enjoyed his uh, ride to kochi and back so 3 days i think he took to reach kochi that is some 500 kilometers away from bangalore after uh, uh, finishing his uh, family commitment or whatever work was there, he rides back uh, through the forest and uh, through the coast, all that. So basically he, he, he showed what exactly he did and uh, in a fun way, beautiful way. That is what uh, uh, our Rahul Nair uh, showed uh, uh, recently. And this man is, uh, see in cycling community, there are people who also do running and all. So through context, uh, this man, uh, Siddhesh Anvantapa is a uh, marathoner basically. So he did uh, 100 uh, uh, marathons. Marathon is nothing but running 42 kilometers. So from January uh, 8th, I think he started first 100, uh, first marathon last year, 2020. By December last week, he had completed 100 uh, this thing. And in the process, he had also completed uh, 11,000 runs, uh, uh, 11,000 kilometers. So one man, you know, uh, this article shows how uh, his lifestyle is full of running, basically, and uh, 
what time you used to get up and then what time you used to uh, start preparing warming up in mind and warming up warming up physically all that uh, he showed us uh, through his running and he used to start at uh, morning and then end his uh, running at uh, 9:30 10 o'clock and then reach home so what he try to achieve with this 100 uh, marathon is uh, what this article is all about so sudesh anvantappa uh, was celebrated uh, uh, from the athletic community last year only because of his uh, commitment and his dedication towards uh, running so running is fine but getting up every day at 2:30 in the morning uh, making up you know warming up uh, till 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock when people movement is there to ensure safety and then riding in the morning hours coming back by 9:30 completing the 42 to 22 kilometers per day is just an amazing story so this is his uh, commitment and uh, this is a beautiful story of uh, a bunch of riders who are all long distance riders these people uh, decided to uh, visit uh, north karnataka uh, different uh, heritage sites like badami patatpal uh, kudalasangama and then uh, chitradurga all these uh, over uh, a week or nine days they decided uh, uh, 2020 last week when the offices were closed for christmas uh, vacation new year vacation so some eight nine people they went on cycle and covered all these points and came back so basically they did not any use they did not use any plastic during this and also they did not use any you know bottled water so that is the biggest to take away from this article i mean from this particular expedition they really uh, showed how beautiful one can uh, uh, see places without you know trashing uh, throwing garbage so what they did is they used the car support vehicle in that they had told their driver to uh, get this plastic cans you no know, what we fill uh, water so they had some uh, water cans and the driver used to trail them and go to these uh, uh, ro units are there reverse osmosis water units he used to fill it and then uh, keep it for these people uh, on the way so their hydration requirements were taken care of uh, only uh, by those uh, ro units so all these nine people for uh, uh, more than a week they had ridden in the hot sun no but still their expenses for the water is only some 60 rupees i think 60 rupees because uh, uh, the ro unit uh, i think for 20 liters they will give for 5 rupees or something uh, that way they showed us without using plastic how they went ahead and see all this comes because they are particularly conscious about their carbon footprint and naturally uh, avoiding plastic is an extension of their uh, green thoughts so this article uh, really uh, inspired many people to uh, think about uh, using plastic so this is one and this is a techie he 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 works for bangalore he works in a uh, software company for bangalore but because of the pandemic he has shifted his uh, uh, home to his hometown like uh, he is working from his uh, hometown basically now uh, there uh, every weekend he used to uh, take his bike out and then uh, saturday sunday he used to go on long rides like 400 500 kilometers he is also a, a common you know uh, techie but he used to enjoy his rides through the mountains and then highways all that and he has covered almost all uh, uh, places in north karnataka and uh, during again uh, some uh, long break he had taken to patakal uh, sorry bijapur bagalkot and all so basically he has covered all this uh, north karnataka though he, this pandemic has really worked well for him so he enjoyed long rides uh, uh, while sitting, uh, while working from darwad his hometown so this is one article how pandemic has benefited uh, some people to pursue their passion <clears throat> these are all some uh, promotion cycle cyclothon events what uh, uh, bangalore had been doing organizing no so such kind of articles this is and this is my article in canada for vijay karnataka after completing the himalayan expedition i'll come to those uh, my tours later so basically these are all uh, articles what i wanted to show you people how bangaloreans uh, are uh, having lifestyle cycling and also uh, setting a new benchmarks so 
what charan is setting is inspired by these people only and i kept on stretching my limits and then after nandi multiple rights to nandi uh, the elevation gain and all are challenging fine but after multiple rights to mysore is you know it becomes monotonous but we would like to uh, stretch our limits and then see new places you do not have to you know really worry about uh, all this bangalore has a lot of cycling groups which are organizing uh, organized tours so all you have to do is to concentrate on the trail like uh, today uh, my uh, ride is like uh, 150 kilometers i do not have to worry these groups will take care of everything from your food and nutrition uh, hydration requirements and even the uh, uh, lodging facility or the destination for the day like uh, what is the cycling touring is uh, like <clears throat> what is this life uh, sorry cycle touring means a uh, lot of uh, cycling groups they organize uh, uh, tours of uh, 800 900 kilometers we should be uh, split into multiple days like 8 uh, uh, days 9 days so from 2012 i think uh, uh, 2010 or 2011 some cycling groups started among them are uh, uh, flagship events of those cycling groups so one by one i will explain this is the great malna challenge so this is a beautiful uh, trail in the western ghats you started uh, madikeri uh, and then ended uh, jog falls uh, this is some 9 days event and uh, you are supposed to cover some 150 kilometers or 120 kilometers depending on the uh, gradient that is ups and downs of the mountains that you come across on the way depending on that your uh, break up is there this particular great malna challenge was organized by um, i cycle dot in and they keep organizing it every year around october when the rains are ended you no know, rainy season is ended so such events are happening so i had made a point to ride uh, one particular tour every single year so this is basically an extension of my urban commuting every day same road going to uh, uh, same destination that is office come back to same destination something you know 20 km rigorous so this tours really help me to explore people i mean to explore places and also uh, mingle with people so one thing i would like to add uh, here about uh, through the cycle i understood whatever your uh, uh, position in the company or not when you are on the road with cyclists they are all the same so that way cycle is a level uh, no matter if you are an md of a company no matter you are an editor uh, sorry journalist here or no matter you are a, a teacher or whatever you are all the same we all uh, lay down on the footpath share uh, chickies banana refreshments so we talk about uh, cycling and that way cycle uh, is a level up uh, that much uh, biggest lesson what i have understood from uh, biggest takeaway what i uh, got it from these particular tours so this is one uh, after getting hooked to those particular touring concept no so every year i thought i should do uh, one tour per year that is uh, uh, go away from all these hustles of life away from office all that for 10 days and enjoy the nature and enjoy the company of cyclists so again um, it all started from 10 kilometers and then 50 and then 100 now uh, i was trying 900 kilometers in 9 days and honestly it's no big deal a lot of people do it and uh, a lot of people enjoy it basically uh, Uh, but one has to really you know push themselves into this to enjoy these particular uh, set of expeditions this is a great malna challenge in 2013 uh, as i said it is through the western ghats from madikeri to kukke subramanya then to sakleshpur and then to kalasa and then through the kudremukh the forest and then you go to uh, udupi that is marwante and then to agumbe and then agumbe to uh, uh this kundadri hills that's a very steep ascent a very big challenge to go there catch the sun uh, sun rays and then roll down and then uh, take the agumbe ghat go to uh, marwante catch the sunset uh, all these are their uh, fun part uh, 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 that one can see only through the western ghats 
imagine uh, going uphill and then seeing sunrise in the morning and then uh, uh, you reach kundapura by evening leisurely see the sunset all these are all beautiful experiences i have enjoyed and that is where i thought okay let me complete uh, the next one in 2014 i uh, pursued this uh, tour of nilgiris tour of nilgiris one flagship event uh, which has really caught up big time in uh, south india and then it has uh, attracted people riders from across india and abroad also a lot of uh, abroad riders also is there uh, is there here and here uh, this was a break day in palakkad uh, some hotel here uh, it was a fun ride from bangalore to mysore mysore to uh, uti uti also is not like one easy way uti we take the kalati route kalati is the king of uh, all mountains in south india if you ride kalati nothing like it so it is like uh, multiple nandi rides back to back to do so there are uh, 36 uh, uh those uh, that you have to cross all that and then from uh, uti to you go to paimbatu from then to valparai forest all are all uh, through the nilgiris means uh, it will be through the three states that is karnataka bandipur forest and then you have madumala in uh, tamil nadu then uh, vainad in kerala something all these you know uh, particular forest stretches you have to pass through it has its own beauty so this 2014 i did it in uh, i did for this tour of nilgiris a lot of foreigners were there and we get to see what their approach towards cycling all that and in 2015 uh, uh, as ajit said uh, uh, i had studied in shomoga that is jnn college uh, they had invited me uh, to talk about cycling i thought okay let me try uh, this was my dream right uh, i thought okay let me go to the venue on cycle itself so i decided around uh, 5 o'clock i started in the morning and then i went all the way to shimoga and then uh, it was a hot summer so in april it was 2015 and taking some 18 hours i reached uh, in the night the next morning i was riding and then i gave a talk uh, to all the students there how uh, lifestyle cycling can really uh, make a difference in one's own uh, life and also to the planet that is uh, with zero carbon so this is my dream ride to hometown <clears throat> some cyclists said okay we'll go to kanyakumari in 2015 only after that uh, april uh, expedition i went ahead with uh, some 10 12 people and uh, we covered uh, 670 kilometers from bangalore to kanyakumari uh, in 3.5 days every day it's like covering 200 kilometers i was not uh, familiar with this 200 kilometer uh, funda till then uh, I thought, okay, let me try this because anyway, I had done Shumaga 275 kilometers in one day for three days, but it was a different ball game. Uh, riding in a highway, uh, the risks involved, and then the sun, you know, as we approach extreme uh, south, southernmost part of India, it has its own uh, weather. And uh, the highway, the tarmac temperature, what you can see is easily 40 kilometers, and uh, what hydrations we have to, you know, uh, take, uh, take care, all that is there. And uh, the fun part is reaching this bottom photo, you see. Uh, I was eating the dead end of India here, uh, the Pacific Ocean uh, uh, at the end here. And it was a very fulfilling, yes. It's not that uh, ridden from Kane uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from Bangalore to itself, it's been its shortest distance, I mean, shortest uh, duration was fun, actually. And it reassured me, yes, uh, 200 back-to-back -back three days I can do. Uh, this is where I thought, okay, let me... Uh, try bigger distances. So, Kanyakumari ride was uh, one memorable because uh, I enjoyed the company of new cyclists who also thought, like, you know, uh, we'll explore this possibility of riding to Kanyakumari. And uh, the challenge was on the highway and again uh, under extreme humid conditions. And then uh, sun was really uh, hitting us. And uh, it was like, you know, the skin gets peeled after one week because it gets roasted. So, these are all the experiences. Uh, uh, after this, uh, here uh, in 2016, one group uh, like uh, Cadence 90, they organized uh, this tour of Karnataka. And here, uh, it's an annual event, uh, flagship event for this group. So basically, 550, 600 kilometers, they spread over four days. It's like, you know, friends starting from uh, Bangalore or Hassan, they ride through, uh, again, Chikmagalur 
or depending on uh, route for that particular year what they fix so i rode through kalasa and then uh, pudramukh forest and then uh, udupi and then ultimately we reached delta point in udupi delta point is something beautiful because the road that connects to uh, delta point is beautiful you ride through a canopy of uh, for a, a trees uh, with one side uh, uh, river and the other side uh, uh, this one uh, arabian sea basically you cut through uh, a river and a ocean and then you reach this delta point that is the end uh, destination for that uh, particular tour of karnataka of that 2016 edition it was fun uh, again uh, uh, mingling with uh, different uh, walks uh, i mean riders from different walks of life like is all that for uh, four days and bonding with them the camaraderie what we develop and they continue to be with us for other rides that is how uh, we you know uh, get together uh, share ideas and then you know stretch our limits this is one beautiful ride i enjoyed this is memorable because it had a combination of uh, highway it had a combination of beach side and it has uh, mountains all that so this tok is a beautiful experience altogether and uh, in 2017 as i said i started riding in 2007 uh, like uh, uh, it was like completed uh, 10 years of cycling then i thought okay let me celebrate in a very different way then i decided uh, uh, let me try the himalayas because i had done all the major uh, hills in south india like uh, kalati in tamil nadu or uh, our own mullayangiri and uh, kundadri uh, nandi hills is like one practice ride if one has to ride to different uh, uh, gradients nandi hills is one one has to do uh, for any tours before that I, it's a ritual for me to go to mysore and come back because the body gets tuned and again to nandi hills multiple times and then come back this is particularly a memorable uh, experience the manali khardungla it's like anybody's favorite destination any cyclist or biker a lot of bikers go there uh, during uh, summer uh, only four months they will allow riders to or the visitors to visit that place uh, the manali khardungla after uh, you know all the uh, snowing and all ends the highway will be open and this is the rotang tunnel recently they have opened one uh, atal tunnel no i'm standing there this is the starting point almost from here you cross 550 kilometers uh, over 10 days this is a uh, bigger challenge because we did not have any hotels to stay there it is all like uh, pitching a tent somewhere in the mountains and then uh, taking bath is somewhat ruled out because of the chill weather and uh, it was like ice cold water flowing uh, though you can see water you cannot you cannot drink that much cold we fear catching you know uh, fever and also we basically avoided taking bath in those 10 days and then uh, again six days of uh, uh, riding uh, sorry uh, six days continuous riding and then taking a sponge bath and then sleeping in tent uh, sleeping bags here uh, there are cycling uh, uh, tour guides from manali himachal pradesh they come with you in their vehicle like and they come with their tents and then kitchen equipment there will be cook also what we have to do is concentrate on riding night stay in the uh, uh, sleeping bag and uh, wake up and then again start riding every day it's like some 60 70 kilometers but it's very difficult because of the uh, uh, elevation and also the altitude uh, high altitude less oxygen so you will have to make do with uh, minimum oxygen basically you have to your body should get acclimatized to particular weather and then start riding here uh, i crossed uh, rotang pass and a uh, lot of snowing happens here uh, when it is uh, winter uh, and here i am sitting on the gata loop gata loop is something uh, uh, a scary thing because uh, so much of elevation is there one has to cross some 22 loops uh, Uh, one can google to know what gata loops and what are the challenges one comes across while uh, riding uphill and that is one and here i this is a photo where i complete uh, the particular arjangala ride uh, tanglangla this is the highest second highest peak uh, i have i was part of a six member uh, uh, group and here i 
the peak uh, of the summit that is Kardungla, uh, 18,380 feet uh, from the sea level, and it is supposed to. It is also the uh, highest uh, uh, motorable road in the world. And here I am relaxing after my uh, destination, reaching the destination. So what I am trying to say is, just having a decision to ride, the result to ride 10 kilometers to my office and back. And then to enjoy variety, I go to this, and then it has come to this. So I had never imagined in my life when I started riding that I would be riding the Kardungla. So it just happened because of the support from the community, uh, I mean, the fellow riders, and now social media is there. A lot of information we have. Uh, basically, how to make the best use of uh, is what the challenge is now. Earlier, when I started, there was no social media also, and no Strava also. Now, Everything is, you know, uh, visible. So that way we are blessed with and uh, the new set of riders also get to enjoy uh, bond over, uh, you know, apps and then uh, activity apps and then uh, these uh, socials like uh, Facebook or WhatsApp. Basically, a uh, lot of opportunities of the, are there for them to learn new things and then to, uh, bond over new set of people. So this is one big thing. And when it came to 2019, uh, I had this, I had completed 12 years of cycle to office. Then I thought, okay, let me try a different uh, uh, ride altogether and uh, do a different thing. Then to complete this 12 years of uh, cycling to office, I thought I should ride uh, uh, Raj Bhavan to Raj Nivas ride. That is, Raj Bhavan is near our, uh, I mean, our Bangalore governor's, uh, I mean, Karnataka governor's office. And uh, Pondi Raj Nivas is uh, the uh, uh, governor's universe of uh, uh, lieutenant governor's uh, official residence. So I decided in I think uh, one and a half days. Uh, yeah, one and a half days I took, and then I reached there. I dropped a mail saying that I will be meeting you just casually. Uh, that meeting and greeting happened with the lieutenant governor, uh, former lieutenant governor. When I went there, that is Kiran Bedi. So it was a fulfilling journey because you know uh, I saw my friend uh, one Nand Kumar. Uh, posting it in his uh, status of WhatsApp that I, I'm riding from this point to this point and I'm going to Pondicherry. And he showed me where and all he had written in Pondicherry. It was such a beautiful thing. Then I got inspired. I decided, okay, my anniversary ride of uh, uh, 12 years should be to Pondi. And I decided uh, put a small bag and then rode off. So this is a beautiful uh, celebration, uh, a small way, but uh, it's a memorable for me that way. And uh, as I started riding small, small distances, uh, it's like, you know, uh, stretching limits. After riding Breves, what I showed you that time in the article, I thought I should do uh, multiple uh, Breves. So I decided in January, February like that, I did a 200 kilometer ride, 300 kilometer ride within st uh, stipulated time. You can Google what is the time should be taken like. And this is uh, 400 kilometers, 600 kilometers. So this I'll explain. 600 kilometers, I went to Guti in Andhra and returned. So this again, I had to pass through Chikpalapur. Uh, Kantirava we start and we ended at Kantirava after going to Guti and come back. So a lot of uh, uh, memories are there with the 600 kilometer, right? 600 kilometer, we have to complete within 40, 40 hours. So it's like uh, losing sleep for two nights. And it was an extreme adventure altogether because of the uh, heat, what we got in the Andhra Highway and uh, all that is there. But at the end of the time, uh, we get medals from Paris. That is uh, Adox India. Uh, Adox India is the uh, Indian uh, district, but uh, this Adox Club Parisian is there. So these are the uh, 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 brave organizers for the world. And uh, they will give us the medal uh, through these uh, Adox India randomness, if we complete within the stipulated time, there will be volunteers watching us, what we do, where we take break, we will not, you know, uh, cheat all that. So after making sure that we have done this within the stipulated time, they will give us this 600 medals, I mean, uh, 600 kilometer medal like this. And these are all to be done in one uh, year, basically one calendar year. If you do it, we will get also the super engineer title. So super engineer title is this. Uh, what uh, I'm having it here. Uh, this reassures me that, okay, uh, taking up challenges 
somewhat good. But at the same time, taking up challenge, uh, it should be with a very responsible way, not that, you know, uh, you should be prepared and we should be discussing with people who have done that, get tips, all that, because uh, when we are on the highway or uh, when we in the night riding alone, a lot of uh, safety aspects have to be taken. It's not that somebody is there always. They are all self-supported rides, but again, we have to be responsible. Coming back to this particular uh, super engineer title, a lot of people do. It is not that somebody, uh, uh, many people have done multiple rides uh, of this series. So if you complete uh, all this in one calendar year, you'll get this uh, super engineer uh, medal also from Paris. Basically, uh, it's just to assure that, okay, uh, whether I can do it. I tried this and then I'm really happy that I did it in uh, the very first attempt. So this is one experience uh, uh, I play uh, all together, uh, this particular four uh, rides. And uh, endurance, what it is, I understood with this particular set of rides. And uh, as I am coming to the end of this, uh, uh, I just want to tell you people, it's very beautiful to write, but at the same time, it's very uh, risky because of the uh, perception of uh, motorists uh, outside, like, you know, cars or vehicles, because you are treated as, you know, one intruder on their uh, way. So I uh, I'll sum it up like this. So please go through. Uh, safety first, it's like, you know, uh, even for a shorter distance, wear a helmet. The moment you wear a helmet, people will understand that he's a serious cyclist. He's not one random rider. He's conscious about his passion. So that message, it goes, sends out. So wearing helmet is always important. And then uh, this is a given, you know, in Bangalore, uh, because of our pace and the pace of others, we have to take the extreme left of the road. At the same time, we should not go to the footpath also because of the gravels we may fall. So uh, riding, uh, sharing a ride, uh, sharing a road is uh, very important. We have to assert our right, uh, right of way there. And at the same time, we should not intrude others' right of way also. So we should be responsible while on the road and we should take care that we are not disturbing. At the same time, we should not allow others also to disturb ours by, you know, they may push us uh, to the footpath. This is one important thing. And uh, uh, I do not want to talk much about these auto rickshaws or four wheelers. Uh, auto rickshaws are known, to, uh, they're parking, you're going like this, suddenly they may take a turn. So we should be cautious about autos. Either we have to be trailing behind the autos or we should be uh, in front of that. Even while while taking, we have to take a roundabout way to overtake them. So basically, how we have to be careful about four wheelers is very important because uh, there will be one car, uh, car fellow like this. If you're coming, suddenly they open the door like, you know, they open the door and then there are chances of that. So that is called dooring. Uh, these are all problems of cyclists. Uh, uh, it takes years to for people to understand, but uh, we cannot wait till then. We have to be safe on our own. So this is one experience in the 13 years, what I understood, how to be careful on the road, especially with regard to uh, other vehicles, three-wheelers or four-wheelers like that. So uh, coming back to safety, as I said, traffic signals are sacrosanct. We have to follow them no matter what, and we should not you know, jump the signals or something. You are really impatient to wait for signal. You can always be a pedestrian, take the vehicle, uh, cycle, walk the bike, and then reach the uh, uh, other through zebra crossing. And then, you know, you can start riding, uh, resume the ride. That is one. And uh, as I said, uh, we should assert our right and also we should not include others' right. So, uh, in my journey of 13 years, uh, uh, this particular book is there uh, called uh, The Takeoff. This particular book is a, I call it a Bible for uh, all one of cyclists who really want to uh, make cycling a part of their lifestyle. So this particular book has 37 stories from across India. That is, all these are all common people like uh, uh, me, you, students, uh, working professionals, doctors, dentists, uh, scientists, all that. They all have made their life, you know, uh, uh, lifestyle uh, conducive to this particular cycling and then they achieved their own thing. These 37 set of stories in this book are really inspiring. If one, but if anybody wants to take up lifestyle cycling, can refer to this book. Uh, it is there. Uh, I shared the uh, link uh, with uh, Ajit and uh, he can see that. Uh, definitely some 300 rupees 
but it is definitely worth it because a lot of uh, life uh, lessons have been uh, we can learn from these books uh, from young professionals to elderly people how they pursue their passion of cycling and for years they are doing it like this this is one charan uh, here uh, what i showed you this is my story uh, called the uh, rider writer but definitely there are many people uh, who have done uh, multiple things in their life from across india variety is there please go pick up your copy uh, that particular book and then uh, there was a short movie made on our adventure six riders uh, grouping from across india and then uh, starting from manali how, what they, they saw by uh, riding through the himalayas uh, and reaching the khardungla it's not that you know something big it is lot many bikers lot many cyclists cyclists are doing this every single year they do but you know uh, seeing uh, is believing when has to do it to see what exactly it is what it takes for 10 days to ride through the himalayas learn 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 means uh, nature is a big teacher that way i we will realize uh, after reaching uh, this himalaya or any other mountain through the western ghats or this nilgiris what we are actually we are we are nobody this is what uh, i will not be philosophical here i may sound so but that is what it shows in front of nature we are nothing these are the takeaways uh, what i understood from these tours and then the himalayan expedition all that so this particular uh, uh, movie short movie has been screened in different uh, adventure film festivals it's some 18 minutes so if you can uh, google uh, sorry yeah youtube with keywords like moving mountains and ethereal they are the movie uh, studio and it is uh, 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 owned by one uh, uh, adventure filmmaker uh, ayush is in delhi so he joined us he shot us uh, while riding through the himalayas and then made a movie so this moving mountains so basically this is my story how i went riding and i how i went about writing on these people and that way in the journey it's beautiful uh, 1 lakh kilometers plus that is 93000 just by commuting within the city and uh, as i showed you this uh, tours they are like big lessons in my life and i will cherish them forever because riding in groups or solo for long it's a beautiful experience so i just did a uh, touring of uh, some 8000 9000 kilometers but overall i'm happy that uh, what i started with to drop my kid to school which is some 2 kilometers away today i'm happy that i covered all these highest peaks in karnataka south india and then the himalayas all this and many people have done it and it's a big beautiful feeling that yeah uh, i have completed one lakh it's not again it's i'm the alone uh, lonely fellow here uh, bangalore has some 25 to 30 people uh, who have completed uh, the, who, who are with a one lakh club and uh, particularly pandemic made lot of cyclists do long distance rides because they, it allowed them to uh, enjoy their time because of the work hours flexibility all that a lot of people did and in the next year uh, you know one or two years 100 um, 100% sure uh, there will be many more uh, who join uh, who might join this 1 lakh kilometers club that is uh, maybe in another two years bangalore will be having at least 100 riders or in 1 lakh kilometer club so start off be safe be responsible enjoy your saddle time it's a beautiful feeling that's all i can say uh, while ending now i can take questions anybody thank you sir thank you for providing so much beautiful experiences of yours and uh, sharing uh, the beautiful inspiring stories of others as well thank you so much and we will see if anybody has any questions you can put it in the chat box or you can unmute yourselves and uh, you can ask the questions anyway nobody has any question please feel free to write to me i am always there to you know uh, connect you people to the right people to take your passion to a different uh, level uh, there are multiple uh, riders and uh, community is awesome now 
connected through interpersonal thing and then through socials all that is there now our community is growing and uh, when i started it was very less hardly some uh, 1000 or 1500 now easily some 7000 lifestyle cyclists are there in bangalore definitely you can write to me and uh, we'll make sure that you know the community grows and the community is again you know uh, beneficial for individual gratification and also for the society imagine uh, what uh, amount i would have saved from this Uh, when i went to the petrol bunk class that is 43 km per liter to 100 km 100 rupees now so lot of uh, experience we learn on the way and also uh, the very feeling that we have not left any carbon footprint is very fulfilling and in the process we also become environment conscious um, like you know yesterday environment day lot many people Uh, think about environment also while being conscious about their green footprints so this is very important uh, i think that is the biggest uh, satisfaction uh, that i have taken uh, out of these particular 1 uh, lakh uh, kilometers thank you sir thank you providing such a wonderful uh, webinar and really an inspiring but everybody has to uh, look into the i mean if you look at the today scenario i think uh, when we see the petrol race and all uh, whatever that we have in the current scenario i think uh, cycling uh, is a really different ball game which can uh, change the society as well as the environment thank you sir thank you for delivering a wonderful webinar and i take this opportunity to thank you once again and uh, i thank our principal for uh, supporting uh, us for various uh, uh, activities which are been conducted in our uh, institution i also thank the hods of uh, different departments and i thank all the faculty members who have been uh, supporting for conducting such kind of uh, webinars and the students who are part of today's webinar and the people who have been registered and being a part of this webinar thank you so much uh, thank you and uh, yes sir yeah uh, thanks ajit for this invite and i thank the principal the hods and the teaching faculty and the students and all the audience for uh, uh, patiently listening to my stories here and i'm really happy that uh, uh, nagarjuna college of management studies has given me this opportunity i hope uh, people consider this lifestyle cycling for their own good and also for the good of society and it's a beautiful thing so again i thank all of these people and uh, thanks you thank you 